Hold on, Matt. Sheeby. Sheeby, Matt. Big Sheeby. Gaffer. I need a ga uh, Got him? Yep. Nice. What is up? Good morning, my adventure crew. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures in Hawaii. It's your first time here. Welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today, we have Monster Matt with us. Chasing the dream today. Honestly, we're going to be looking for Otaru Pals, big Aku Pals. They've been coming up the past few days, so let's see if we can find one. If we get an Ahi somewhere, a Mario somewhere, that's just putting the lucky action, I guess. But uh, we're going to be sitting on lines right now, outside of Hollywood, Hawaii. And then uh, we're going to check outside and see if we can find some bird pals. We'll see. The report is in bird pals, so we will see. We'll see. Set up some lures. Let's see what Matt's setting. Oh, the blue snow globe. Blue snow globe. Let's sell some lures. What did you put on that one? The 100% right? Yeah. yeah. You want to try around this one on the rigger? Yeah. That's what we got the bit last time, right? It was on the rigger, huh? So, yeah. You got the 100% on there. The blue snow globe over here. And we're going to pull some other lures. So, be right back. A couple other things that we're going to run is a purple snow globe, 7 inch. And one of my favorite lures, Jenny Scoop. Any color is my favorite lures though. They definitely run in the best in rough water, flat water. This red is action. Long, short, it doesn't matter. Probably one of the most important things of the day, the moves to be. If you want to get something, you have to give something. You have to feed the sea god every trip. Spam moves to be. This is just a regular good old spam moves to be. No teriyaki, no deluxe today. This Hollywood guy, he likes it plain, so you're on the plain one today. This thing might be open school in my I don't know. So that's gonna change out the lures on the corners. So a couple small lures real fast on the corners on them. Get lucky first thing in the morning. I'm trolling for maybe 10 minutes now. Let's see. We'll see, we'll see. Thumbs up for good luck, boys and girls. If it's your first time here, we post new videos every Sunday, 7 p.m., always. All right, he's shooting that lure out. Let's see if we can get lucky over here. They're kind of flying now. They kind of broke up a little bit, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's get on them. Otaru on. Double. Clear lines. You got a, something good size on. That you need to turn on the glove. I don't know, maybe big sheep, yeah. Walked into the bird pot, like Otaro was busting, but that one looks like a big one, I don't know. Maybe good size sheepies. A decent size sheepies. Maybe like a 40, 50 pound sheepie on there, huh? Weird though, it's on the surface. It might be actual arch. <laughs> Hold on, Matt. Sheeby. Sheeby, Matt. Big Sheeby. Gaffer. I need a ga uh You got him? Yep, nice. Go on, get him, get yours. Nice. Good size one. 
Ja. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Maybe. Buddy, oh cow, we got sauce. Oh yeah. Well, no way was. The saga continues. That one is definitely bigger. It's gonna be closer, eh? Yeah, leader coming up, Matt. Okay. Crank some more. Crank some more, Matt. I'm gonna walk him up there. Yeah. Hold on. Nice one. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. What's his size? Yeah. I think that all day. This is a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bigger. Yeah. What was that on? What was that on? Seven inch snow globe. Snow globe, baby. Oh, yeah. So, this is what they're eating right here. Ikas. Little Ikas. You guys all washed up, all bled. I gill and gut them already. They're totally cleaned out. These are not eyes, these are what we consider sheepies. The yellow fish, they're under 100 pounds. You got a nice fish, bring lots of ice. We bring lots of ice, we don't play around while we go fishing. Lots of ice. You got 700 pounds today. Let's get those fish on the ice now. So we just got the fish ice, we set back up. We're going again, we see the bird pile again. It's only us over here, there's nobody around right now. Not that far out, but definitely looks like the shimmy pile again. We're coming up to the first side, we saw big splashes, big splashes. And it might be a toddler, I don't know, there's some big splashes through them. Yes, we're wrong, it's shimmy. But the pile is big, this kind of shimmy might have eye inside, you never know. Those 100 pound, those 100 pound markers. We'll see, we're coming back up to the pile, nobody's around. Let's go and then, I don't know, no way wash so far. Oh, well, let's put blood on the deck. Let's go get another one, boys and girls. Thumbs up for good luck. Here we go. On again, on again. Small one again. That might be what's on the media. Yeah. What's going on, Uncle Nick? Trying to make a video today. Trying to make a video? Watch them all take off now, Matt. Huh? Watch them all take off now. <laughs> now. These birds are in the same area, so I don't know. We marked some big fish, but they're about 60 pounds down, so there's some tuna fish on there for sure. Yeah, 60 pounds down had some had some good size ones. What is this now, Taru? I think so. If not like a 10 pound shibi. So be high again. High again this one. Now nah, I see silver. Oh no no no. Oh no no no. Ah, uh, good, good enough. Oh, no, no, no. Climbing the boat. Small aku. Some big cheeries in there. I know there is. I seen a splash there. We're marking them on the GPS on the, um, the Furuno. Just gotta get on the bite, that's all. Pau's moving slow, so it's always nice when a pau moves slow. Two things. It's easier to get multiple passes because they're moving slow. Another thing is you save fuel. Not gonna burn a whole lot of fuel chasing fouls like that. 
All right, thumbs up for good luck, boys and girls. We're building our fish box slowly. Let's get back in, let's catch some fish. Oh, I've been on a, a, a six inch bullet, six inch bullet I made. A lot of you guys are asking about the six inch bullets. Honestly, this time I don't really make them. I wait till like after summer to make them. When everybody wants them for like other stuff. I don't have any right now, but I might put some on the next lure drop. So if you look in the, the description below, that's how the next lure drop is, morrislures.com. There it is in big letters. I make them, it's a one man operation. So be patient with your orders when I ship them out. Thank you. Here we go, boys and girls. Let's get some fish. Yeah. Another one on. Was about to give up on his pile because the pile was breaking up, seemed like. But since we got away from the pile, it bit. So that tells me that the fish is definitely hanging on the outside of the pile. Once I got the leader, I'm gonna walk it up yeah. and just come behind me. Still lively, yeah. Yeah. Taru, man. Taru. It's no taru. Okay. Yeah, you. Take that. That's a we'll dozer. That. That's a dozer. Oh, the other one's still in there. I used to <laughs> Take that, we'll take that. That's one way to do it. Open a box, man. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. We'll take that. Lots of ice so you can take care of your fish. It's important. Take care of your fish, guys. All right, here we go. Go work with her now. Don't come off. Double, double. 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 Double, boy. Triple. Triple. I think we still got the bird ball. Huh? I think we still got the bird ball. Read your fish. No. See what got. This one ran good. The other I'm trying to get my picture angle on you. It's gonna have to be a thumbnail this week. Walk 
looking for. Showtime. Oh, yeah, you. That's a dozer. That's a dozer. The green cell. The green cell. Night. I'll take that. <laughs> Always take care of your fish. We blend them, we add them in the water in the Ikima or Live Bait Well. And now we're gonna put them on the ice. We've got lots of ice too. Whatever ice you bust at that side, we have the same amount of ice on the other side, so don't yeah. worry about busting them. Yeah. All right, fish is put away. Back to the power, boys and girls. Thumbs up for good luck. The plan was to get with Aru today. I was definitely a plan. The Shibis were kind of like a... Lucky luck, we're planning on that, you know what I mean? So the plan's working out so far. We got some Otarus. Now we're looking for that lucky yellow guy in the blind. That would not really put the ice on the king. The tuna fish. So we'll see. All right, everybody. See you guys shortly, hopefully. Your back gonna hurt tomorrow. I'll guarantee it. <laughs> you know, Marlene is spread right now. What a small straight here, I think. Keep this short corner, yank line came off. Now she's chasing his rigor right now. It's small right there, right there, right there. It's on now. Uh, we just had a small a straight marlin come in the boat. Small, and I'd say maybe like 60, 70 pounds. His bill is really short. His bill is maybe like a 10 to 12 inch bill. So this is a small one. He pulled the short corner first and hit the long rigger on uh, the blue snow globe again. And he, he missed it. So he had it. He gave some gas shots at the hook, but probably didn't have it good to pull right out. So. Uh, we gave, that power, we gave that guy up and we just kept heading, heading in because the outside is dead right now. Heading in right now, we're coming across a nice big bird pile, so thumbs up. Hopefully we can get a uh, some of these birds. Right now, so far, we have the the two the two Shibis, the full Taro, and the one small Aku. But let's see what else we can get. It's about 2 o'clock right now. So that's our midday update, I guess. If we can find a good Otaru pot that bites really good, we'll still it until dark. We're inside 20 miles right now, so if we can find something that bites really good, we'll stay on the hunt the whole way. Right now, those fish are so expensive right now, they're really $100 bills. So for everyone you get, that's $100. You walk through a pile, you get five, that's $500 right there. So we'll definitely look for a ton of piles as it gets late in the afternoon. All right, boys and girls, here we go. If you didn't know, as always, every Sunday, 7 p.m. point time, we post new videos. Thumbs up for good luck. Hit the like, and uh, see you guys at the pile. Walk through a bird pile, to the double. Time to bring it back. Still 100%. 100% are bit again. Can we put our on that? Can. Should go for the multiples. <laughs> yeah. Alright, sit back up. See you shortly. Driving back now. 
it's about six o'clock and we have 13 miles left to go so we're almost in kind of not so much though but i got comments from you guys message from you guys what kind of leader am i using and stuff like that um the leader line i use the only place you can get in hawaii it's blue jinkai the link is in the bio it's from high fish gear the same guys that sell my real adventure hats for me the guy bill and the boys over there highfishgear.com link will be in the bio you got some good strong leader like that check them out if you're on fluorocarbon they definitely have the best prices that i've seen online and in the island if you go to their store uh but we're heading back now we'll see you in the harbor we pull the fish out see what we got and then uh the prices are high so we're probably going to get to the market still yet but if you haven't already give this video a like help me out with the algorithm and then uh i guess we'll see you shortly in the harbor what is up? Good morning, my adventure crew. We're going to the auction. It's 2.20 a.m. I'm tired. I'm beat. I think I fell asleep on the couch at like 11 o'clock. My wife woke me up. She's like, yeah, go drop off the fish, right? I'm like, yeah. She's like, you need to get up. So, driving to the auction. Super tired. I think that's why a lot of people are dropping fish to the auction now because the hours for auction for the local drop-off guys sucks, honestly. It's pretty terrible. Before you could drop it off the Deagle fish, you drop it off all the way up to 10 o'clock at night. Not now. So it makes it a little harder. But we're going to auction and drop off the fish. Uh, Matt took an Aku, a small Aku. I'm going to keep one. And then one of my friends came to my house later on today. He has a party, so he's going to take two Otarus. And then my neighbor right down the road is going to take one of the other small Akus. So I'm going to drop, so I'm going to drop off two Shinis and two uh, of the Otarus. So we'll see how we do today. Should be there shortly. Thumbs up for good luck. See you at the auction. Super busy unloading fish sale over here. Lots and lots of, of tunes being unloaded today. I think the guy said they have 70,000 pounds of fish to unload today, so. Pretty impressive area to come over here. Once COVID season is done, you actually can go inside and watch the live auction. You know what I mean? They open up to the public, so it's going for COVID season to be done. Then you can go check it out. But definitely please come check out check out if you live here or if you if you're visiting from the mainland or somewhere else. But awesome place to come check out. So let's go home and then uh we'll come back probably later on this afternoon and we'll check. And we'll see how we did. Hopefully the cover feel nice. We'll see. Place it in pretty pretty high, so should be good. See you guys at home. So what is up guys? We're back at home. Um got the check. So for our breakdown, we took to auction, we took the two Shibis, and the two Shibis were 59 pounds gilling gut and 48 pounds gilling gut. And for those we got 590 590 pound each, which is epic. You know, with the whole COVID thing kind of like not being over, but with the long line boats not going out, tourism really coming back in Hawaii. Prices are going really good for fishermen, the local troll fishermen. It's normally not like this, so we're doing really good this time of year. Um, for the two Otarus, one was 22 pounds, one was 23 pounds. We got four hours a pound. So for, for overall, uh, was 700, the check is for 730 hours and 17 cents. So pretty epic day. Um, two Otarus I sold on the side outside to one of my friends who needed Aku for a party. We sold to him for four hours a pound. I think it was like 40 pounds. So four hours of safari was at, hey, let's see, I think it was 160 bucks off that also. So 160 added on to this. That gives us ah, just under 900 jars for, for our fishing trip. So with fuel, I believe we burned about 44 gallons in fuel. The ice was 50 hours in ice. I always take about 600 pounds of ice, roughly, give or take. And then uh, the fish, the nine jars and fish. So overall, we did pretty good. You know I mean, not not every trip's a banger trip. You know I mean? if, if getting home safe though is always key. You know what I mean, getting home safe is always the what makes the trip really good. If we make a little money, we cover expenses, and we, we put some food on the table for us. Awesome trip. If we put money in our pocket, that's just a bonus. You know what I mean, we don't go out there trying to make money every week. But if it happens, it happens. It works out. You can't complain. Um, so I guess that's it. And uh, as always, guys, every Sunday, 7 p.m. Hawaii time. If you haven't already, give this video a like. Please, please, please give this video a like. It's all I ask you for. Hit the, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week, Sunday, 7 p.m.
Hello guys. We're rich! We're rich! Not really. Not really. Anyway, hello. That's our bird party now. We see like 20 miles out right now, not too far out and we see eyes blowing up all around us. Big bird ball, eyes blowing up. No boats around, so this might be it. This might be what we're looking for. Definitely some tunas blowing up around us. This is, this is promising. Thumbs up for good luck. Hopefully we'll see you guys shortly with a screamer. But this is what we was looking for. This is what chasing the dreams of all boys and girls. It's gonna get real real soon. Double, 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 What about the fish? Uh -huh. You want this fish from the sea? The water's too murky, too hard to see. And the farmer man, 